Hello everyone, my name is Evergreen. Over the last few days or so, my creative side has exploded, like exponentially exploded. I have been creating custom calling cards, so to speak, for a group of buddies of mine on Discord and several other people. But a question I've been getting from a few people is, like, how do, you, how do I make mine? I know that you can make it, but I would like to make something that fits my artistic vision. And I'm like, you know what? That's fair. I've been doing the same thing. Mine are kind of dull, in, in my opinion. But I've been seeing people that do know how to make them. They're fantastic. I 10 out of 10. Monster work of craftsmanship. So this video that I'm making now is for viewers that want to make theirs. So, how to, right? Well, first and foremost, you need... More or less three things. You need a picture of whatever you want. Now, the calling cards that have ma been made so far are of planes, tanks, uh, boats, and so on and so forth. Though, the ones I've been primarily making are jets, planes. For example, I've made one of uh, the F4E Phantom II with a specific custom skin. I'll throw it up now. Here it is. I've made one using this skin here. Pretty good. Uh, you can't really see it because the shadow. I have to use the light side. Why is it night? Ruining it. Anyway, I've used this skin. Another one that I uh, made for a buddy was using this skin here, the stealth looking aircraft. And there have been plenty other skins that were used by my buddies that know how to use this. So anyway, first you want, you need to pick a plane that you want to use, and then you will go and get into a custom battle. Uh, I'll use my, uh, my Phantom for this. So first you get into a custom battle, and then you gotta think, right? So I use ground maps because I'm familiar with them for playing custom games constantly. But you need to think to yourself, what map would my plane look good in? And, and the, a lot of things go into this. Uh, lighting, um, not sound design per se, but uh, lighting, position, camera angle, and a bunch of other stuff. It's honestly what you think looks good. It might not look good to someone else, but in my honest opinion, this isn't about someone else. This is about you, unless you're being a professional at this sometime in the, in the future. And, yeah. Um, so uh, maybe you want a desert map because you have a desert-looking plane. Or maybe you have a certain plane that'll stand out better against the sand. Or maybe you want uh, an urban map for a different uh, chaotic feel. Or maybe you just want a simple uh, rolling hills forest map to uh, feature your plane in. Um, now the shots that I've done so far really haven't been of the ground, they've been more up in the sky, so my pictures really, really doesn't matter for it. But, uh, basically, I'm gonna pick Poland here, for, eh, just because. Set a password so no rando can join. And, let's go. Alright. Playing the F4. Let's go. Let's get started. So I'll explain how you get your pictures in a second. Just wait for this to load. Aha, here we go. Now, first and foremost, uh, field doesn't matter because you're in a custom um, and all that. Uh, rounds, really the rounds that you have uh, don't really matter unless you're going to plan on shooting for your like photo. Flares and all that don't, re or countermeasures don't really matter. Um, weapons, however, I think will impact the photo. It depends on what you want your photo to look at. Like, it, for example, if you wish to be a uh, an air superiority fighter, you might want to take just uh, air targets. If you want to be a ground pounder, you might want to take just bombs. Or if you want to be a mixture of both, a CAS plane, so to speak, You'll take both. It just really depends on what you want your plane to look. That's that's really basically it. So for this picture, we'll just be taking a stamp, a simple uh, standard uh, air air loadout. 
All right, let's let's do this. So in truth, um, what I do is I just record. Well, no, I don't even record. Uh, I just uh, throw my plane about the sky, and then. Um, so, for example, uh, the sun is up there, so what would look good? Hmm. Let's do a roll real quick. Let's do a couple rolls. And then the other direction. Let's do one with an afterburner. So we can kind of see the big roaring fire, so to speak. Break through the sound barrier. Let's get some rolls in there. And the other way. Alright, let's start doing turns. So basically all you're going to be doing here is you're just throwing your plane around. Across the sky, across the map, whatever you want to do that you think would look good. Firing off flares, let's get the other direction. Oop, oop, fucking up here. That's basically it. You're just, you're, all you're doing is you're just throwing your plane around looking for a proper shot. Perhaps if you don't want the sky and you want a little bit of land, fly low. Let's get some, uh, low. Let's get low here and, uh, okay. I would also mention for those trying to do this, uh, you might want to, um, uh, what's the word? Uh, you might... Just constantly roll. Just turn the aircraft around in all different directions and ways to try and capture a good image. Anyway, I think that works. Let's uh, bail out and return to hangar. Alrighty. So now, what you're gonna do? What I what I just did there is I just explained. You throw your plane around in the sky to get the right shot. Then what you go is you uh, exit your custom, and then you go to the replays. So let's get there, and just give me a second. Let's uh, delete the custom. Back. Replays. So you'll if you don't know how to get to replays, you go to the top left to community, to, and then you'll go to the replays button. And then, of course, um, it's not very name-wise. It's not named, but the if you haven't... If you record, I say record, basically the last previous mission you played, be it a realistic battle, an arcade battle, simulator, whatever, or a custom, it will be recorded in your replays. It will be the one at the top of the list unless you play another match of sorts after the one that you threw your plane around. So, for example, the last ma one we just played is the one you just saw, where I threw the plane around, so it's at the top. So let's view replay. Give it a second to load. These pictures are also, by the way, are really cool. Oh. All right, match starts. Come on. All right, here we go. I'm gonna slow down to uh, 0.5 speed so I can get a, perhaps a good shot. So here you can see, I'm just flying along in the replay. Try to look for a good, uh, Good photo. Let's speed up for a little bit. Oop. Boom. Right there. That's a good shot right there, I think. Yeah, right there. That's a good shot that I personally would say would look good on a calling card. So then, what I do... To get rid of all this shit. To make the uh, image look good. And then I would use whatever screenshot button you have. Take a picture. So we're going to do it. Alt F1. Screenshots. There it goes. Screenshot has been saved to gallery. By the way, I'm using NVIDIA. NVIDIA GeForce Capture. So that's how I'm recording this video at the moment. Um, and that's how I took that picture. So, since I like this picture, we're gonna leave the replay. And that's really, that, that's basically it. That's all you need for the picture. It's a very simple, very simple process. You just throw your plane around, you get in the recording, and you just watch it, and you look for the right shot. Now, of course, I just went really early into the video and found the shot that I wanted. You could, of course, 
watch through the entire thing, not find any, and have to go into another custom and you know throw your plane around to look for more proper shot. Um, or maybe there would have been a better shot that you could have found later, but didn't. It's whatever you want to do. I'm going to use the shot that we just took a screenshot, though. So anyway, um, we're going to exit War Thunder now, because it slows down my computer. Um, <laughs> all right. All right. So, uh, a variety of stuff that I use is... Well, first and foremost, I use the Creative Cloud desktop app, Adobe, uh, Adobe Creative. In Adobe, you have a variety of apps that can be used. I use only, well, for this, I'll only be using uh, Photoshop, uh, Adobe Photoshop Express, to be specific. Basically, all I really use, I don't know why, oh, here it goes, taking a minute. So, I only use uh, Photoshop Express for this. And the reason why is it helps me uh, touch up the item. However, from my experience, actually touching up the, uh, the picture is, uh, I don't really think you need to. If you want to, to make it look uh, sharper or have a different flair, you can do that. But we're not going to do that. But I'm just, if you want to, this is an app that I uh, use for uh, some of my images. I've used it in the past, and I don't think I, I might use it again, but... I don't know. I kind of like the standard lighting in War Thunder in its game engine. So we'll get rid of that for now. But the major thing, uh, so the next major thing that we're going to be using is Canva. So Canva, and I should also like to mention that I am not sponsored by any of the apps that I use. These are apps that I use for my own personal entertainment and artistic creativity. And then, um, yeah. So Canva is uh, basically, well... Here's its logo. If you want to find it, canva.com. I have my own account. So anyway, let's play with Canva. Let's go inside and look at it. Now, this is not a tutorial on how to use Canva, but I'll show you what I do to uh, skip the tour. Um, this is what I do in creating my logo. So we'll go to elements. So we use the F4 Phantom. We had a type of like... Uh, green chameleon skin, but you honestly want to put forth your preferred uh, So what you use can before is your to create your squadron logo your uh, insignia so to speak So we'll uh, you know what I think I want to make my Jap uh, I want to use it's American plane, but I can make it whatever I want So I think I want to make it uh, Japanese so what can we do with that? Well, first and foremost, we can uh, make a big old circle in the middle for the Japanese rising sun. Ooh, I think we need to make this smaller. So like any standard uh, app, you can uh, change the size and uh, length of a picture. Let's do that. That looks about right size. All right, cool. That's centered. And let's change the color. So, red. Red for the Japanese flag, right? Hmm. Interesting. I think it can do better. In fact, why don't we change the background to black for just kicks and giggles? And then, let's see here. What else can we use? Um, let's see all lines and shapes. Ooh. Let's make it white. Let's see here. All right, perfect. I like that a lot. And we're going to do a second one, though much thicker. At the center. And boom, you have your sort of symbol that you might want to use. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go up to share once you have your image, whatever you want it to be. And then you'll go to download. Cease. Uh, download. And then you'll download it. Now you can, depend, uh, now you can choose the size, 
But just for the image, that uh, the image editor that I'm going to be using, which is GIMP, G-I-M-P. You'll want PNG. I don't know what that stands for, but uh, you, you need that. And then you can determine with the size and all that. So anyway, you click download. Uh, cool. You in there? There's your uh, your image, so to speak. Now I'm gonna open it up in the photo editor. Uh, well, I say photo editor. The photo viewer on my computer that standard Microsoft uh, software carries. So here's your image, and then you're going to save that. So save as. I'll save it to my pictures. Uh, we'll just call it video emblem. Yeah, video emblem. There we go. Save. All right. So now if you go to your files, boom, there's the uh, file. So you can add it later to GIMP. Now I need to go to, uh, let's see here, my recording software. I need to go to my gallery, which you probably can't see, or maybe you can. I'm not sure. Back. All right. You get your, uh, your picture. You open it up. This is where all my photos are. I have a video and all that jazz. All right, here's our photo. We're gonna open it up. Boom. This is my cropped image. All right, so we're gonna create a secondary image and we are gonna make it, uh, let's see here, we'll have to scale this down. So now using the crop function in the standard Microsoft, you can crop the image to however you like. I think I made it a little too small, so now the thing's freaking out on me. All right, I think that works. So the, here is your image that you wanna save. This is what I'm gonna use. So save a copy. Fantastic. Now here's our image that we'll be using. And basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, uh, using GIMP, I'm gonna post your, uh, basically what you'll do is you'll post or copy, you'll copy this image, and then you'll paste it into GIMP, put this in the main picture somewhere. Now most people like mine and my buddies that have know how to do this, you'll post it uh, normally in the bottom left corner. You can, but it's up to you. It's completely up to you. Now that now we have our photo and our uh, unit insignia, we'll be using GIMP. Now let's. Let's use it. So we'll take the photo. Oh, wait. No, I probably should. Sorry. Missed a step. So first, you'll want to save this. I suppose you copy it. Let's copy it. You you can change it into a file, but I'm just going to press Control-V and post the image. Boom. Don't need this anymore. And you have your photo. Of course, I can't really get rid of the replay, unfortunately. I really wish I could, but I'm not sure how. Hmm... I'm sure someone smarter will be able to tell me. If you do know, let me know down in the comments so I can help improve my editing ability since I am quite the noob, but yeah. Anyway, we're gonna copy this image as well. Copy, Control V, boom. Ooh, um, I think I fucked it up here. Yep, fucked it up. <laughs> Oops. All right, we're going to uh, discharge, uh, discharge, uh, close all changes. We're going to open this back up in the editor. Copy, control V, I don't know. I did not do this properly. Okay, I completely fucked up, fucked up. We're gonna fix this. All right, let's recrop it because that's what we need to do. Bring this in, boom. That's our original image that we had. Save a copy. Then, now and probably what I should do is I should uh, save as and put it in the files, but I'm just simply going to, for time's sake, just copy it. And now, put it properly in here. Fortunately, we cannot do this, do that with this image. We're gonna have to go to a, uh, a separate editor, which I'm gonna have to use. 
Hmm. What do I want to use? I'll probably use uh, 3D Paint. Where is it? 3D Paint. This is a uh, 3D Paint is also a uh, an editor on uh, Microsoft's standard software. So here's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, go in here, uh, menu, open, browse files, and we'll go to where did I save this? Downloads, open, and voila. So now that we have this, we can um, we can do a variety of things with this. Uh, but what do we want to do with it is the is the question. Um, I'm sure I'm screwing this up somehow. I'm trying to think, how did I get that in there? File. How did I edit images? Hmm. Oop, that's zooming in. Don't want to do that. Um, I did this yesterday. How did I do this? Uh, change the size of photo. Resize image. For pictures. Let's go with small. Let's resave it. Uh, no, actually, we're going to keep the old one just in case this is... Uh, oh, shit. Video... Video emblem number two. Save. All right, let's let's retry that, shall we? I'm gonna close 3D Paint for a second. Okay. We'll move this photo. Here we go. Start moving it. Question is how to make it smaller. All right, let's blow up GIMP. Um, rectangle shot. That's a crop tool, scale tool. There we go. Now we're cooking with gas. So then you, uh, so basically, if you're running into the problem that I did where I posted a massive fucking image on your thing, you'll use the move tool to move your image around. And then you'll use your scale tool, if it's too big, to resize it to your photo. Now, I didn't have to do this the last couple days, but I don't know why I just posted in a small, normal image that was roughly the right size. But anyway, there's your image. And then you'll want, so let's see here. So normally I have, a, a, like, three text boxes. You have your... Uh, Hmm, let's see here. So the name Raptors on the Plane. So we'll call this, let's paint it in black and bold it to make it look decent. Raptor. Ooh, that's a little big. I don't think I want 22. All right, so basically uh, the way this works, which is kind of irritating, is if you want to change the text size, you can't do it here. You got to do it in the, the bar over here. So we're going to change this to 15. Press enter once you have it in the right size and it will change here. Then you have to re-click back on the box. Oh, I need to bold that. Raptor Squadron. Boom, too easy. That gives you the squadron name, so to speak. The next major thing that I do is I uh, create the, uh, the name of uh, basically your call sign. Now, normally what my buddies on Discord have been doing is just using their uh, in -game, their Discord persona. For example, my name is Evergreen, so my call sign was Evergreen, which is what we're going to do. So it's black, bold, apostrophe, or I forget what that symbol is. Evergreen. Boom. There's your call sign. You're going to do another box, if I can do this properly, and stretch the box properly, and boom. All right, black, size 15. And then the next and last thing that you do is you'll create some random number for your, uh, your unit. So this will be your unit designation. So I'll just do... 
uh, the 68th uh, Interceptor Squadron. Oh, normally what we do, sorry. So this would be the fifth. I need to be bold. The fifth Air Division. And by the way, so to uh, expand boxes, uh, you can uh, drag the corners to kind of get a larger pull of both left and down, or basically the directions. Or if you just want to move a single direction, for example, I just want to move down, you'll use the bar in the bottom. So anyway, this would be the 5th uh, the Air Division, the 68th Interceptor Squadron. And that is... The, uh, that's, that's basically it. That's, that's all you need. It is really simple. Now, of course, you're seeing the box around this. This doesn't actually show up in, um, in the final image, as you can see over here. If, well, I'm not sure how you enlarge in this, but in a nutshell. So, uh, so then you have your final image, right? Next, what you want to do is go to file, go to save as, and this is your final, this would be your final, uh, copy. So I go to uh, pictures, and then I already have a, um, a file that you want to make. Uh, I call it Evergreen Pilot Calling Card, because this is where I posted mine. I'm going to save it, and I already have a couple in here already from making it for my buddies, and I'm going to save. Uh, untitled, oh no, we need to name it, or you might delete something. So we'll just call this video calling card safe boom now what you do is you go to your files let us make a new one file explorer go to pictures 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 where are you if i can read pictures and go to evergreen calling card and boom of course, it's just going to relaunch GIMP. I just wanted to show you this to make sure that you indeed have this image saved to your computer. Yes, it's going to reopen GIMP, but the way that you can post it is... Where is it? So what I normally do is I print. Go to print. You're going to Microsoft print to PDF. You're going to save it as a PDF. You hit apply, then print. Then you're gonna get, you know, how to make a PDF. So again, video uh, calling card PDF. And we're gonna save this to our desktop. Save, gonna exit out of that, exit out of that. Get rid of this because we don't need it anymore. Get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. Close our browser and boom, here's your video calling card. Now I have a couple others. Um, here's this one, and you can open it as a PDF. Boom. Here's your image. Zoom in on it. And let's see here. So next what you'll want to do is... Well, the reason why I have you zoom in... So basically, you don't want to post this whole ginormous image of all the white. It doesn't look good. So what I do is I zoom in on the image like that, like so. And then I'm going to right click on the image and I'm gonna do something called web capture. Now I use web capture and I do my very, very best to try and get the corners of the image. Basically this uh, takes a picture in a picture. So then you copy it, boom, copied, and then you can post it wherever you want. So for example, um, let's launch Discord. No, 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 that's fine. But that's basically it. Boom. There's your image. That's how you make it. It couldn't get simpler. It couldn't get easier. That is bare bones, basically how you copy your image. And I suppose if you wanted to, you could save the image of this that you've created. Well, that's all, folks. If you thoroughly enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, please let me know in the contents of maybe an extra video that I could go over the smaller minutiae or the smaller details of 
this um, this picture. Also, I just realized that this my mouse is in here. Oops. Um, but yeah, no, but honestly, it's, it's really just up to you on everything on how you want it to look. I did this in here. Um, this can be as fantastic or simple. Like, I did really simple for this video. I've put, uh, for other examples, I've put in, um, words, catchphrases. Um, it's honestly as creative as you want it to be. Anyway, I hope you all, uh, thoroughly enjoyed. I will see you all in the next video. Bye.